Once again, good evening everybody. Um, general education tayo ngayon, social science. For those who has uh, majorship, dalawa po ang impact sa inyo, gen ed at majorship. Para naman po sa mga BS ed at BE ed, of course, mahalaga to sa gen general education ninyo. And of course, sa sinabi ko na po na ang general education is paramihan po siya ng bala, paramihan po siya ng nalalaman. Paramihan po siya ng na-memorize. Hindi po siya paramihan ng naintindihan. Okay? So, kaya bibigyan ko po kayo ng mga maraming bala po para sa board examination para ang general education is hihila talaga sa rating ninyo. ba? Diba? May isa akong kaklase. Ang kanyang Prof. Ed ay 69. Ang kanyang Gen. Ed ay 94. So, naghila siya. Nakapasa siya. ba? Diba? So, kung magka magkawala na talaga yung gen, uh, ang prof ed, mahirap talaga, mahirap din yung majorship, at least meron kang panangga ang gen ed, okay? So let's start. Government and economics tayo ngayon. So perhaps we will be talking about um, politics and we will be talking about economy, no? Let's start it with the word state. Ano ba ang state? Ang Pilipinas po ba ay state? ba diba? So what are the elements of the state then, no? Yun yung tanong. Ano ba ang mga elements ito ng state na dapat nating malaman kasi sabi nga ang Pilipinas ay state. So ano po ba ang dapat nating tatandaan upang ang isang bansa ay matatawag nating state? Huh? Everybody say, meron ako ni Munix dito. No? Everybody say PSGT. Go. PSGT. Everybody say PSGT. P for what? Population. So ang Pilipinas ba may tao? May mamamayan ba ang Pilipinas? Yes. Therefore, the Philippines is... Of course, one, um, has one of the qualifications. Now, second, ano po ba ang qualification na S? Sovereignty. Ano po ba ang sovereignty? Ito po ay all about the freedom from foreign control. Ibig sabihin, ang ibang bansa ay hindi dapat makikialam sa affairs ng Pilipinas kapag functional naman ang ating justice system. That is sovereignty. Free from foreign control. Oh, may sovereignty ba ang Pilipinas? Yes. Qualified pa rin ang Pinas. Next, government. Wait, meron mag gobyerno ang Pilipinas? Of course, meron tayong gobyerno. So therefore, Philippines is still qualified to become a state. And the last one is territory. Meron bang territory ang Pilipinas? Yes. No? Meron bang exclusive economic zone ang Pilipinas? Yes, that's the 200 nautical miles, di ba? So that is um, all about the state. And the elements of the states are... So let's try to say the mnemonics PSGT go PSGT P4 population S4 sovereignty G4 government and the last one is for territory okay now let's let's try to have a drill um bilisan natin bilisan natin mamamayan population free from foreign control sovereignty exclusive economic zone territory Okay? And then, of course, the three branches of our government, it's the government, di ba? So, that's it. Elements of the state. Now, let's go to the powers of the state. Bilisan lang po, ah, dahil review lang po talaga ito. So, para makarami tayo, bilis-bilisan natin. Okay? So, just bear with me and then just try to participate if I will do the drill. Powers of the state. What are the three powers of the state? We have the P, we have the E, and we have the T, no? Si PET, di ba? So, una po dyan ay si police power. Pag sinasabi natin police power, ang tatandaan mo agad dyan, teachers, general welfare. To explain it further, kapag meron kang bahay dyan na sira-sira na, pwede ba yung sirain ng gobyerno kapag um, nasa, nasa kalsada siya? Bakit? Ano po ba ang posibilidad na ang general welfare of the people will be in endangered? Kapag kasi may bahay kang sirana, tapos malapit siya sa mga tao na dumadaan, ibig sabihin pwedeng ma-endanger. Pwede bang sirain ng gobyerno ang bahay mo na yon na sira-sira na rin? Yes, that's the police power. Okay? Sunod so, no, dyan, tinatanong sa board examination, ang mga... Um, ang gobyerno ay gustong magpagawa ng ospital. Tapos, timing na yung pagawaan ng ospital is a private property owned by you. Pwede bang kunin ng gobyerno yan? Yes, but of course, you have to be given just compensation. Ano ibibigay? Just compensation or the fair market value. Did you remember? Now, ano po ba ang um, pipiliin mo kapag walang imminent domain? Kasi sa board exam, tinatanong ito, pero... Ang, ang choices, hindi nag-mention ng imminent domain. Ang minention doon, expropriation. So, yun siya yung sagot. Expropriation. Next. 
taxation naman po. This is the power of the government to impose charge of burden. Okay? The clue word for this one is charge of burden. Pero kapag tinugtungan ng charge of burden to all practicing professionals, that's income tax. Kapag charge of burden lang, taxation ang sagot. Okay? That's the power to tax. Now, what are the three powers of the state? First, imminent domain. Second, police power. And then the third one is, very good, taxation. Let's try to have a drill. Charge of burden, taxation. General welfare, police power. To take private property for public use, imminent domain. Malinaw? Yes. Next. Forms of government time. Mahalaga sa board examination. Listen to me, may dalawa dito lalabas talaga, no? Okay. Um, first, monarchy. Tinatanong sa board exam, what is the government of England? Sagot, monarchy. Pero kapag may constitutional monarchy, siya yung pinakatamang sagot. Again, what is the government of England? Monarchy. Pero kapag ang tanong is merong, I mean, ang choice is merong constitutional monarchy, siya yung pinakatamang sagot. Bakit? Ang monarchy kasi meron siyang dalawang type, no? Absolute at Um, constitutional. Pag absolute ay lahat po na sinasabi ng king and queen is yun yung batas. Pero kapag constitutional, there is a supreme law pa rin. Okay? So now, tinatanong rin sa board exam, who is the virgin queen? That's Queen Elizabeth. Okay? Queen Elizabeth. So let's go. Anarchy. Pag sina so monarchy is being led by a king or a queen. No? Now let's go to anarchy. Anarchy po is um controlled by one no grabe to walang gobyerno no i mean um ang anarchy po walang gobyerno no so magulo magulo to okay so next aristocracy po is a government that is being led by elites drill natin to mamaya okay next is oligarchy a government that is being led by few by the selected few clue word selected few next democracy naman po is of course democracy democracy freedom di ba may may karapatan tayong pumili ng mga leader natin democracy freedom okay parliamentary naman po is the president has the power to control the congress and the executive that's parliamentary lumalabas sa board examination diyan according to batas ng pambansa chu 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 marcos declared chu 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 that's the 1973 constitution which the parliamentary government was being passed federalism naman po national to national local to local no so now let's try to have a drill okay so pili lang po kayo diyan national to national local to local federalism king and queen monarchy walang gobyerno anarchy elites Aristocracy, selected few, oligarchy. What about for um, the president controls the Congress and the executive? Parliamentary. What about for freedom? Democracy. What about for national to national, local to local? Federalism. What about for king and queen? Monarchy. 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 What is the system of government of England? Constitutional monarchy. Okay, next. Meritocracy naman po, ito yung gobyerno ng Singapore. Lumalabas sa board examination, what is the government of Singapore? Sagot, meritocracy. Tinatanong din sa board exam, it is a government that is being led by people of talent. Sagot, meritocracy. Next, monarchy. Monarchy, tapos na yan. Communism is no private property. No private property. The opposite to communism is capitalism, um, free enterprise. No? So, That's it. Um, communism tayo, private, no private property. Meritocracy, people of talent. Malinaw. Tapos na. O, di ba? Proceed tayo. Para makarami, di ba? Branches of Philippine government. Ah, sige. Um, review na po ito, ha? So, ibig sabihin, dapat alam mo na ito. No? So, branches of Philippine government, how many? Three, di ba? Of course, namely the um, executive. So, ang executive, ating i-qualify ito. So, this would be the first time that I will show you the 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 qualifications of the executive um, uh, leader. No? So let's go. The president must be what? Natural born citizen. The president must be a natural born citizen. The president should be a registered voter, of course. And next, the president should be able to read and write. This is the problem of the Philippine government. Our president should be able to read and write only. So ibig sabihin kapag grade 1, grade 2, grade 3 ka, or grade 4, grade 5, kapag ikaw po marunong gumasa at magsulat, ikaw po ay qualified as a president. Whereas kapag nag-a-apply ka ng teacher, nag-a-apply ka ng janitor, nag-a-apply ka ng 
cook, nag-apply ka ng kahit ano, merong college degree dapat. That is the loophole of our government, no? We we cannot um ano, we cannot blame that there are nuisance candidate because first and foremost, the qualification only says able to read and write, no? Next, at least 40 years old. Again, ilang edad? 40 years old dapat. So, kapag 39 ka pa, bawal ka pa, di ba? So, next is a resident of the Philippines for at least 10 years. Dapat ikaw ay 10 years um, na naninirahan sa Pilipinas, di ba? Um, is yung nga dito noong 2016 is Grace po, no? Si, si Grace po. And then, of course, the tenure or the term of office is 6 years. So, again, ulitin natin. Ang presidente ay dapat natural born citizen. Ang presidente dapat ay a registered what? voter. And then the president should be able to read and write. So, pwede ka ba? Yes. Next, the president should be at least 40 years old. Ilang edad? 40 years old. Next, the, the president should be a resident for how many years? 10 years. Drill na natin ito mamaya. Tingnan natin kung kaya mo itong sabayan. Next, a term of office, 6 years. Pwede ba siya magpare-elect? No. According to the 1987 Constitution, the president should only serve one term of office. Pwede ba siya tumakbo ng, ng vice president? Yes. No? Basta hindi president. Next, legislative branch. Oh, legislative branch tayo. So, again, ang executive branch po, siya yung nagpapatupad ng mga batas na ipinasa sa Kongreso. Oh, siya din yung pipirma, di ba? So, kapag hindi niya nagustuhan, he has the power to veto. To veto. Okay, eto na, the veto. So, ibig sabihin, power of the president to reject the law, he has the veto power. So, after ba ng 30 days, kapag hindi na pirmahan ng presidente, ano, mag, ano mangyayari? Automatically, the bill will become a law. So, dapat pirmahan talaga yan ng presidente or else, kapag hindi niya veto, magiging law na yan automatically. Now, let's go to the legislative or the law-making body. Pag sinasabi nating law-making body, sila ba yung gumagawa ng batas? Yes, so let's go to their qualifications sa Senate muna tayo. How many senators? 24 senators, no? So um, alternate po ang kanilang pagkakailet, no? 12-12 to para hindi sila mawala ng mga tao. Okay. Of course, first qualification the same, natural born dapat, no? Next, able to read and write na naman. Next, oh, resident of the Philippines for not less than 2 years. Kanina, ang presidente ilan? 10 years. Ngayon, 2 years na lang. At least 35 years old. Kanina, ang presidente, 40 years old. Now, registered voter dapat. Okay, of course, given na yan. And then, of course, the term of office is 6 years. Now, what is the difference between the senator and the president? The age and the uh, residence in the Philippines. That's the only one. That's the only one, no? I mean, that's the only two. Okay, tandaan nyo po, ang pinagkakaiba ng qualifications nila is the age and of course, the period of residence. Ang presidente ilan? 10. Ang senador? Very good, no? Um, 2 years lang po. Tapos, ang age naman, 40 si presidente, 35 naman si senador. Now, let's go to the lower house or the uh, lower chamber. Again, ang atin pong... Um, Legislative branch is composed of two chambers, the upper house and the lower house. Therefore, this is called bicameralism. Lumalabas yan sa board examination. No? System of government of the Philippines in the time of the 1935 constitution, that's still bicameralism. That's by virtue of the Jones Law. Jones Law or Philippine Independence. No? Next. Lower house tayo, ayan. House of Representative, eto na, a registered voter, a natural born citizen, able to read and write, at least 25 years old, a resident of not less than one year, and of course the term of office is three. They, they, they are the congressman, and they should not be more than 250 people in the, in the Congress. Now, let's try to see the difference. Ano lang po bang pinagkakaiba? Ang term of office? ang period of residence and ang age no so si kung si congressman o oh sige si Sir Melvin 28 year old ako pwede ba ako maging congressman yes now 28 year old na ako pwede na ba ako maging senador no why the senator must be 35 years old and then pwede na ba ako mag presidente hindi nga ako pwede mag senador presidente pa kaya so therefore 40 yung presidente another ang Lower house, ang, ang, ang congressman, dapat siya ay may period of residence, no? Not less than one year. Dapat one year and up. Makakatakbo ka sa congress, no? And then another is, of course, ang ating senator ay 
not less than 2 years. So, 2 years and up. Ang presidente dapat 10 years. no? So, next. Ang term of office po ng mga congressman ay 3 years lang. Ang senator ay 6 at of course, ang ating presidente ay 6. So, therefore, tatlo na po ang kaibahan. Now, let's go to let's go to the judicial branch. Pag sinasabi natin judicial branch, this is the Corte Suprema. This is the Sandigang Bayan wherein the Chief Justice and the 14 Associate Justices are inside the Sandigan Bayan. That's why there there are 15 members inside it, no? Supreme Court. O, tingnan natin kung anong pinagkakaiba sa qualifications. Natural born citizen, very good. At least 40 year old. Sinong kaparehas niya? Si Presidente, di ba? Next. Uh, 15 years or more judge to a lower court or engage. O, mas mataas ang qualification kapag Chief Justice ka. Ayan, di ba? Tingnan mo, 15 years or more... Uh, Ibig sabihin, experienced judge ka talaga dito. So, mas maganda. A Chief Justice and, a, and 14 Associate Justices. No? And this will serve at the, um, kapag um, kailan, lang, kailan siya matatalsik. Di ba? So, tinatanong sa board examination, who is the first impeached government official? First impeached? Si Renato Corona. Bakit? Bakit? Si, um, alam ko po yung sagot ninyo, si Erap. Pero si Erap kasi, the father of the masses siya, di ba? Si Erap kasi, nag-resign siya bago pa man siya um, napatalsik, no? So, sa Ed, sa DOS, di ba? So, now, let's try to have a drill. Kaya ba? Kaya ba? O, sige, tingnan natin. Ilan ang ng presidente? 40. What about the senator? Again, um, sagot, sagot na. Again, presidente, ilang edad? Edad tayo, edad. Presidente, 40. Senator, 35. What about the congressman? 25. What about the judicial branch, the chief justice? 40 year old. So that's it. No? Sino magkapareha? Si Presidente at si Chief Justice. No? Mga gurang na sila. Now, another one. The term of office of the lower house? 3 years. What about the President? 6 years. What about the, the uh, senators? 6 years. How many senators? 24. How many senators? 24. Period of residence tayo. The President. 10 years. What about the congressman? Not less than 1 year. What about the <laughs> senator? 2 years and up. Very good. Who implements the law? Executive. Who interprets the law? Judiciary. Who who creates the law? That's legislative. Okay? So, nakita niyo po yung kaibahan? Napakadali lang po. How many chief justices? Only one. And of course, there are only 14 associate justices. Na? So, Chief Justice po isa lang. Okay, so let's proceed. Na itanong dito. What prevents each branch? Oh, each branches daw. What what prevents each branch? No, Each branch lang po, lang S yan. Each branch to become abusive. So, para hindi sila magiging abusado, ano daw, ano ba, ano daw, daw ang safeguard ng gobyerno natin? What is the safeguard of our government para hindi sila maging abusado? Sagot, walang choices. Pinatanong yun sa board examination. Pero may choices doon. Sa akin, wala. Para mahirapan kayo. Gusto ko makita yung kumunot yung noo ninyo dahil nahihirapan kayo. Okay. Ah, what is the safeguard? Again, for the 21 people who are watching, if you wish to join the final coaching, you can just message me on Facebook. Michelle Tanay, check and balance. Wow, ang galing. So, siya na kauna, di ba? Oh, kahit walang choices, alam niya niya yung sagot. Very good. Check and balance. Ibig sabihin, walang magiging abusado dahil kapag meron, ayan, iti-check and balance ka at kapag meron probable cause for impeachment, ikaw po, ikaw po ay makukulong. No? Ikaw po ay mapapatalsik sa pwesto. So let's go to the kinds of writ. No? Napakarami po dito sa board examination. First, writ of amparo. Right to life, liberty, and security. Ito na yung tanong ng iba kasi yung iba hindi nakikinig minsan sa ating mga lectures kaya minsan nahihirapan sila kung ano ba tang sagot dito. No? So I will now try to explain. Kapag ang tanong po, right to life, liberty, and security, that's amparo. But when the question talks about happiness, ang panghuli, happiness, ang sagot agad dyan is civil rights, no? Civil rights. Tandaan niyo po yan, ha? Happiness ang tanong, civil rights, kapag may happiness. Pero kapag security, that's amparo. Malinaw, teachers? 
Malinaw? Yes, very good. Next is the rate of habeas corpus. Noong 1973, ayan, sinuspend ni Marcos yung rate of habeas corpus. Ibig sabihin, pwede kang hulihin kahit anong oras. No? The suspension of the habeas corpus. Therefore, you bring me the body is the command to habeas corpus. Okay? Next, habeas data naman po, it is the right to privacy of information. Tinatanong sa board exam, what is being violated by people of doing, I mean, what is being violated by wiretapping? That's habeas data or the right to privacy of information. Next, next. Oh, meron pa tayong isa dyan, the right of kalikasan, the right to live in a healthy and clean environment. Drill tayo, drill natin to. Drill, drill, drill. Kinds of writ tayo, what are the four kind of writ? Rate of habeas data, rate of habeas corpus. Sige, ikaw lang dyan. Rate of habeas, um, um, rate of amparo, and then the rate of kalikasan. Right to live in a healthy environment, kalikasan. What about the right to life and liberty and security? That's rate of amparo. And what about for the right to privacy of information, rate of habeas data? And we, what about if I will tell you, bring me the body? That's habeas corpus. That's it. What about if the right to life, liberty, and happiness, civil rights? Next. Okay, that's it. Now, let's go to this question. What is considered the supreme law of the land? What is considered the supreme law of the land? That's a question about examination. Sige, tingnan natin. Bilis lang, bilis. Very good, constitution. So, let's talk about this one. Constitution is the fundamental law of the land. Tinatanong din, what is the supreme law, fundamental law, highest law? constitution niya. So, ang constitution po, hindi siya gaano lumalabas sa board examination yung yung evolution. Pero sasabihin ko na, 1899, 1935, 1973, 1986, and 1987, no? Yun po yung evolution ng constitution natin. Again, 1935, Commonwealth yan, no? 1899, Malolos Republic yan. So, oh wait, sorry, 1943, na meron pang 1943, sorry, o oh, sige, bali, ulitin natin. Malolos, 1899. 1935, Commonwealth. 1943, Japanese occupation here. No? 1973, that's the Parliamentary New Society by Marcos. 1986 is the Freedom Constitution. And the 1987 is the, of course, present Constitution. Okay? So, pag-usapan natin ang Article 4. Rights of the Filipino citizen. Okay. Oh, wait. Hindi pa pala. Sige, rights of a Filipino citizen. Natural rights. Oh, karapatan mo bang mabuhay? Yes. Karapatan mo bang magmahal? Yes. That is natural rights. No? Natural lang yan. Next. Constitutional rights naman po is the Bill of Rights stipulated in the Article 3. No? The Enumeration and Declaration of Human Rights. Tandaan nyo po ito ang salitang, dalawang salitang ito. Enume, enumeration and declaration. Pag makita nyo na to, sagot Bill of Rights. Sagot Bill of Rights. Kapag nakita nyo na ang salitang mga yan, no? Constitutional rights yan. Next. Ano po ba sunod dito? The sunod is civil right. Ito yung tanong kanina. Right to life, liberty, and happiness. That's the civil right, no? Private individuals yan. Political right naman po, it is the right to seek public office. Pwede kang tumakbo sa public office and the right to vote. no So, kapag ang tanong, right to vote and right to seek public office, sagot, political rights. Pero kapag ang tanong, suffrage, it is the right to vote. It is the right to vote. Malinaw? Yes. Statutory rights, ito po yung mga batas na ipinasa ng Kongreso para magiging um, batas sa ating bansa. Ito yung mga Republic Acts. Ito yung Extended Maternity Leaves. No? Ito po yan. Citizenship tayo, Article um, 40, I mean, Article 4 po ito sa ating Constitution, Citizenship. So, paano ka ba nagiging citizen sa Pilipinas? Dalawa po, you are natural born. Ibig sabihin, kapag natural born ka, it's either you solis ka or you sanguines. Okay, tandaan nyo po ang mga salitang ito, lumalabas to. You solis po, ibig sabihin, that's by place. No? By, by place, ipinanganak ka sa Pilipinas dahil ikaw ay Pilipinas. So, ikaw ay Pilipino. Ang isa naman po dyan ay si, ay si Yus Sanguines. No? Yus Sanguines. Ibig sabihin, ang nanay mo ay Pilipino, ikaw ay Pilipino. Ang tatay mo ay Pilipino, ikaw ay Pilipino rin. So, that's Yus Solis and Yus Sanguines. Which is by place? Which is by place? Solis. Which is by blood? Sanguines. From the word Sanguines. Sanguines, that's blood. No? So, 
that's it. Yung soil sa New San Guinness, you can find it in a natural born citizen. So, merong natural born, merong artificial born. Yes, sila yung nang, nang naturalized, no? So, again, sila yung mga naturalized. Number two is the naturalized citizen. Si doubt it, di ba? Yung PBA player, yung national player natin, naturalized siya by judgment of court or congress, no? So, ibig sabihin, kapag ang court nag-judge siya na ikaw ay magiging Pilipino, then you will become a Filipino. If the judge will, uh, if the congress will act, no, na ikaw ay, by majority vote, ikaw ay magiging Pilipino, you will become a Filipino, okay? That's the nat um, citizenship. Again, ano ang citizenship natin? Natural and, natural and, of course, naturalized, no? Pag sinasabi natin naturalized, dalawa ang uh, components niya. Sino? Solis and sanguine. Sino by blood? Sanguine. Sino ang by place? Solis. Malinaw? Yes. Suffrage tayo. Ito yung sabi ko kanina. The right to vote. Okay? Again, the right to vote, suffrage. The right to vote and seek public office, that's political rights. This is Article 5 of the 1987 Constitution. This is the Article 5. Again, what is the Article 4? Citizenship. What is the Article 5? Suffrage. What is the Article 3? Bill of Rights. Okay? Okay, malinaw. Election present is the smallest unit in the Philippines. No? Smallest unit. Pag may nakita ka smallest unit, ay election present na yan sa board exam. Pag uh, disinfresh, disenfranchisement naman po, ito yung uh, revoking. No? Ito yung pagkuha sa karapatan mong bumoto. So kapag hindi ka na pwede bumoto, ikaw ay disenfranchised. Next. Qualifications of voters. Okay, so my qualification din ba voters? Yes, you have to be 18 year old. You have to be a citizen of the Philippines. You have to be um, not disqualified by law, no? Dahil kapag disqualified ka, of course, you are disenfranchised. At least 18 year old, no? Dapat 18 ka. And then, of course, you have resided six months preceding the elections. Before the election, six months ka nakatira sa lugar kung saan ka buboto. Next. So, tapos na tayo sa government. Tapos na tayo sa government. Ayan, di ba? So, nice kong, nice kong i-drill yun. Pero tapusin ko muna yung itong economics. Tapos i-drill natin lahat. Ayos ba? Ayos ba? Laban? Okay. Pero mas maganda siguro mag-drill ako. Sige. Um, sige, pili kayo sa chat box. Sa, sa chat box. Mag-drill ako sa government muna or proceed tayo? Mag-drill or proceed tayo? Jessa May Robley. Good evening, Sir Melvin. Good evening din po sila. First time ko po dito. Hi, Ma'am Jessa. Ayan. Kaka-join din lang din po niya. Sig Ay, gusto niya mag-join sa final coaching. Ayan. Okay, so do you want the drill first or I will continue muna? Please tell me, guys. Spirit dyan ko. Sige po, tingnan natin. Please tell me po. Drill or continue? Okay, may nagsabi, drill tayo. Okay, drill tayo. Mula sa simula, ha? Mula sa simula. Okay. What are the four elements of the state? Sabihin mo yung mnemonics. P, S, G, T. P for population. S for sovereignty. Um, G for government. And T for territory. Punta tayo sa forms of government. Government of England, monarchy. Government of Singapore, meritocracy. People of talent, meritocracy. No government, anarchy. No government, anarchy. National to national, local to local. Parlia. Parlia. Federalism. The president controls the executive and the congress. Parliamentary. No private property. Communism. Selected few. Selected few. That's oligarchy. And then, um, what about for the elites? Led by the elites. Aristo, aristocracy. What about for freedom? Demo, democracy. What about for the people of talent? Oli, no. It's meritocracy. Now, um, punta tayo sa... Deka lang po ha, kasi hindi ko po siya talaga na ano na memorize okay punta tayo sa sa um, branches of government who creates the law legislative who implements the law executive who um, interprets the law 
judiciary. How many judges? 15. Okay, how many judges in the judicial? 15. Sandigan bayan. That's the judicial. The president, saan siya belong? Executive. What about for the senators? Sa Congress. Let's go to the qualifications. Ano ang edad ng presidente? 40. Ano ang edad ng chief justice? 40 din. Ano ang edad ng senator? 35. Ano ang edad ng congressman? 25. Ano ang edad ng voters? 18. Let's go to the term of office. Ano ang term of office ng president? 6 years. What about the senator? 6 years. What about the congressman? Three years, okay? Now, let's go to the period of residence. What about the president? Ten years. What about the congressman? One year and up. What about for the senators? Two years and up. What about the voter? Six months, okay? Let's go to the kinds of rights. Right to life, liberty, and security. Right to of amparo. Right to privacy of information, writ of habeas data. Bray me the body, writ of habeas corpus. Right to, right to live in a healthy environment, writ of kalikasan. Let's go to your kinds of rights. Right to life, liberty, and happiness. Civil rights. The right to love. Natural rights. Again, natural rights. What about for those laws being created in Congress? Statutory rights. It is the enumeration and declaration of your rights. Constitutional rights. Specifically in the bill. The bill of what? Rights. It is the right to seek public office and the right to vote. Political rights. It is the right to vote. Suffrage. Anong article? Article 5. Citizenship tayo. What are the two kinds of citizenship? Natural and naturalized. Pag sinasabi natin natural, may dalawa ba dyan? Yes. Ano yung dalawa? Yus solis and yus sanguinis. Kapag blood, sanguinis. Kapag um, place, yus solis. Kapag naturalized ka, direct act by Congress or judgment by the court. Okay? So, punta tayo sa saan ba? Meron ba ba? Meron ba? Okay. So, are you guys learning? Um, nasabayan po ang drill? Okay, so reviewin nyo lang po ito. Mabilis to ito sa ngayon pag first time mo. Pero pag nag-review ka na, um, i-upload ko to. Ayan, masasabayan mo na ako. So let's go to economics guys. No? Economics tayo. Okay. Economics, economics. Okay, let's go to economics. What do you call the production, distribution, and consumption of goods and services? Ay, sinabi ko na to kanina. Economics, di ba? Again, production. PDC, production, distribution, and consumption, no? Next. Let's go to the economic systems na ating dapat malaman. First is capitalism. This is the opposite of communism. Bakit? Free enterprise kasi siya. Ibig sabihin private, no? Ibig sabihin lahat po pwedeng magnegosyo. Now, communism po, no go government, I mean, no um, private property. So kanina, capitalism, all private. Si communism naman, no private. Si socialism naman, of course, merong private, pero meron ding um, free enterprise, no? Meron din siya, I mean, meron din siyang um, government owned. So, socialism yan. Market system, pag free market po, lahat po nakakapagnegosyo. Kapag monopoly naman po, isa lang po ang nag-control sa products. Okay? Tandaan nyo po, mono, isa lang po ang nag-control sa product. Kapag oligopoly po, maraming nag-control ng products. Okay? Ganun lang po yan kadali. Let's go to macroeconomics. Pag sinasabi natin macroeconomics, maliit, malaki, Malaki. Macro eh. So, ibig sabihin, national scale siya. Ano po ba yung sari-sari store? Micro lang po siya. So, sino maliit? Micro. Sino malaki? Macro. So, macro ka ba? Hmm. Four factors of production. So, everybody say sell. Sell. Again, everybody say sell. Sell. Very good. C for capital. E for entrepreneur. Okay. Again, C for capital. E for entrepreneur. And then, of course, L for land and L for labor. Everybody say sell. Sell. C for capital. E for entrepreneur. L for land. L for labor. Okay? So, ating i-define yan. Pag sinasabi natin capital, that's man-made. No? Man-made. Money. That's the money. Next. Entrepreneurship. This is what? 
this is the skills needed, no? And of course, uh, kapag nagnegosyo ka, dapat ikaw po ay skillful. So that is skills, no? That is being paid by profits. Next, land po ay ang natural resources, okay? Lahat po ng natural resources na ginamit mo, land yan. Next, ang labor naman po is of course the human efforts. Ito yung mga efforts ng mga tao mo. Ito yung sinisweldohan mo. Now, let's try to make a drill. Again, what are the four factors of production? Capital, entrepreneur, land, labor, which is man-made capital, which is human labor, labor, human force, labor, skills, entrepreneur, skills, entrepreneur, all natural sources, land. Very good. Uh, Kitams, napakadali lang. What do you call the sudden increase of prices? Uh, tinatanong sa board exam, what, is the, what do you call the sudden increase of prices? Ayan, inflation. So, kapag sinasabi natin inflation, pagtaas ng presyo. So, dahil meron tayong inflation, meron din tayo yung um, deflation. Ang deflation po is, of course, pagbaba ng presyo. Again, pagtaas, in. Pagbaba, def. No? Hyperinflation naman po, rapid increase. Ito kasi yun. Bakit ba hindi na lang magawa ng pera ang gobyerno, ipamigay sa mahihirap? Um, Zimbabwe did that mistake. No? Gumawa sila ng maraming pera, pinamigay sa tao. Ang nangyari po, nagkaroon ng inflation or hyper inflation. Ibig sabihin, tumaas ang presyo. Biruin mo, 10 million yung chicken nila, 2 million yung bread nila. Bakit? Gumawa kasi ng gumawa ng maraming pera, ibig sabihin na wala nang halaga ang pera dahil wala nang nagpo-produce ng supply. Lahat po meron ng pera. So who will, who will produce? Nobody produce. That's why, that's the greatest mistake Zimbabwe did, no? So, hindi po natin pwedeng gumawa ng gumawa ng pera, pamigay dahil ang mga tao magiging tamad, no? At, at lahat bibili, tapos sino na lang ang magpuproduce? I hope malinaw po siya. Let's go. GDP and GNP. Kapag GDP po, ito po yung mga produkto na gawa dito sa Pinas, okay? Gawa dito sa Pinas. Ang GDP naman po ay gawa ng Pinoy, No? Sabi nga ni Ma'am Aya dito, gawa ng Pinoy, gawa dito sa Pinas. Kapag dito sa Pinas lang, kapag Pinoy ka at nandun ka sa ibang bansa, ay hindi ka kasali dito sa Pinas lang. No? Gawa ng Pinoy ay kapag nasa ibang bansa ka, ay Pinoy ka, di ba? So, ibig sabihin kasali yung gawa mo. Again, that's the main difference of GDP and GNP. Malinaw? Yes. Again, gawa dito sa Pinas, GDP. Gawa ng Pinoy. GNP. Actually, gawa GDP, gross domestic product. Domestic dito lang. Gross national product, ibig sabihin lahat po ng nationalitying Pilipino ay kasali dyan. Green Latin mamaya. Types of tax system. One of the powers of the state, taxation. Charge a burden, taxation. Okay? Again, what are the three powers? Police, imminent, taxation. Pag sinasabi natin imminent, take private property for public use. Ano yung ibinibigay? Just compensation. Kapag walang imminent power sa choices, expropriation. General welfare, police power. Charge of burden, taxation. Let's go to taxation. Meron tayong tinatawag na, again, ta ta types of tax system. Merong progressive tax. Ano po ba ang progressive income tax? Ito po yung, kapag tataas yung income mo, tataas din yung tax mo. Okay? Next, proportional tax. Ito yung walang pagbabago, no? Constant or fix yung tax mo. Next, Regressive tax naman po, ito yung tataas ang iyong income, bababa naman yung tax. Okay, so drill natin. Drill natin. What are the three types of tax system? Progressive, proportional, and regressive. Kapag sinasabi natin progressive, tumaas ang income, ano mangyayari sa tax? Tataas din. Ang um, constant, saan doon? Yung proportional. Ano naman yung regressive? Tataas yung income, bababa yung tax mo. Malinaw? Yes. Dalil natin ito mamaya. Let's go. Classification of tax tayo. First, income tax. This is, oh, tinatanong sa board exam, what is the tax being paid by all practicing professionals? Income tax. Ano naman po yung tax na binabayaran ng all adult citizen? Pag sinasabi natin adult, 18 and above, that's community tax or cedula. Again, what is being paid by all adult citizen? Community tax. What about for tariff? This is the tax being imposed on imports. Mga imported products, may taripa yan. Bakit ba, sir? Ang taripa kasi siya yung magiging daan para magiging competitive ang ating mga produkto dito. Dahil kapag ang presyo po ng ating car dito is 200,000, tapos ang imported is 200,000 lang, ano mangyayari? Magiging inferior ang sa atin dahil ang Pilipino po ay gusto talaga ng galing sa ibang batsa. So therefore, 
Kita rin pa po ay siyang magpapataas ng presyo sa kanya para magiging competitive ang ating market. Meron tayong tinatawag dyan na Citeris Paribos. All things remain constant, di ba? Corporate income tax, ito yung tax ng mga businesses, no? And then next one, real estate tax, ito yung properties, okay? And then next one is of course inheritance tax, ito yung binabayaran kapag um, sinusunod mo yung kayamanan ng mga yumao mong magulang, okay? So that's paid by years in inherited property. O drill natin, all practicing professionals, the tax being paid by all practicing professionals, income tax. The tax being paid by all adult citizen, lumalabas to community tax. Kapag walang community tax, cedula. La, uh, properties. What about for the properties? Real estate tax. What about for the tax being paid by heirs? Inheritance tax. What about for the tax being paid on imports? Tariff tax. Malina po ba? Yes. What about for the businesses? Corporate tax. What about, what do you call the tax imposed on imported cigarette? Uh, imported cigarette and liquors. Sige, sagot. Imported cigarettes and liquors. Ang tawag? Imported cigarettes and liquors. That's very good. Syntax, no? Syntax. Okay, syntax. Ayan. Imposed liquors and cigarettes. So, yung mga luxurious imports, yung mga cars, ayan, ad valorem tax naman yun. Okay? So, other economic terms na dapat tandaan, si Teres Paribos, lumalabas yun sa board exam, all variables are kept constant. Tandaan nyo yan, lumalabas yan. Next, depreciation, lowering of the product value. Bumaba ang value mo, ang halaga mo, o nag-depreciate na ba yung value mo sa boyfriend mo? Depreciation ang tawag dyan. Kapag appreciated ka naman, of course, yung value mo tumataas. Okay? So now, dahil tapos na to, drill tayo. Tingnan natin kung hanggang saan ang tapang ng inyong mga utak. Okay? From the start to finish. Handa na ba? Sige, simulan natin sa economics. It is the production and distribution of goods. Economics. What are the four factors of production? Cell, C4, cell, C4, um, capital, E for entrepreneur, L for land, L for labor. What is man-made? Capital. What is human force? Labor. What is skills? Entrepreneurship. What What about um, the all natural resources? Again, lands. Charge of burden, tax. Charge of burden, tax. The power to tax of the government. Let's talk about tax. The tax being paid by all adult citizens. Community tax. What about for the tax being paid by teachers? Income tax or the uh, all practicing professionals. What about for the tax being paid by imports? Tariffs tax. What about for luxurious imports? Ad valorem tax. What about for cigarettes and liquors? Sin tax. What about for properties? Real estate Tax. What about for businesses? What about for businesses? Again? Again? What about for businesses? Corporate tax. Okay? Now, let's go to um, all things remain constant. Citeris paribos. What about for you are appreciated? I mean, tumaas yung value mo. Appreciated. Bumaba yung value mo. Depreciated. Tumaas yung presyo. Inflation. Bumaba yung presyo deflation. Tumaas ng tumaas ang presyo. Hyperinflation. Anong ginawa ng Zimbabwe? Gumawa. Sila nang gumawa na maraming pera kaya nagkakaroon ng hyperinflation. Again, the tax, I mean, the power for the tax, that's the charge of burden. Punta tayo sa governments. Bilisan natin. Right to seek public office and the right to vote, political right. The right to vote lang, suffrage. Again, the right to vote lang, suffrage. What are the four elements of the state? PSGT. P4. Population G, S4, sovereignty. G4, government. T4, territory. What is the power of, I mean, what what is the age of the president? 40. What about the senators? 35. What about the congressman? 25. What about the voter? 18. How many justices? 14. How many chief justice? 1. Again, 1. The right to vote? Suffrage. The right to vote? Suffrage. At what age can you vote? 18. Kapag hindi ka na makaboto, tinanggalan ka ng karapatan na yun. That's disenfranchised. Again, disenfranchised. Types of government tayo. Government of England. Monarchy. Led by a king or queen. Monarchy. Walang gobyerno. Anarchy. National to national, local to local. Federalism. Merit. People of merit. Meritocracy. 
Government of Singapore, Meritocracy Freedom, Democracy. Selected few. Selected few. Oligarchy. Elites. Aristocracy. No private property. Communism. Are you guys learning? Thank you so much. No? Um, I hope malino po. May natutunan po ba? Were you able to participate? <laughs> Nakaya po ba? Ayos lang. Um, yung mga nagkakamali, okay lang po talaga. It's okay to commit mistakes because from there you will learn. You will definitely learn from your mistakes. Why? Hindi mo na uulitin yun. Lalo na sinabi mo, di ba? Do not retract anything because, you know, when you commit mistakes, you are learning. And that's one of the basics of life. No? Huwag mong isipin na nagkamali ka. Ang isipin mo na naitama mo yung pagkakamali na yun sa board examination. It's okay to commit mistakes here. But sa board exam, it's a no-no. Okay? Tandaan nyo po yan. It's a no-no. Okay? So, um, I hope manatuto po kayo. Give me a thumbs up naman dyan kapag natuto po at taong bayan. Thank you so much. Papasa na ba? Ayan. LPT na ba? Kakatay na ba yung kalabaw ninyo? <laughs> Ayan. So, huwag kalimutang i-invite si Sir Melvin. <laughs> Ayan. So, pagpapasa kayo, give me a testimony naman dyan, di ba? Sa video call tayo. Para sa mga mag-join ng final coaching, you can just message me on Facebook, Melvin Boracho. Okay? Kung gusto mo mag-join. Okay? So, again, um, I hope uh, nasatisfy ko yung needs niyo for tonight. Marami pa pong live ang mangyayari. So, at the meantime, kapag natapos nyo nyo yung i-review, you can review the videos, no? You can really review the videos and participate for the drill. Tandaan nyo to. This, here is the main clue. Kapag nasabayan nyo po ako sa aking mga padrill, ibig sabihin, kaya mo nasagutin. Pag tanong ko, sagot agad. Ibig sabihin, you are really a master. You are master. Hindi ka naman makakalimot. Tandaan mo, kapag hindi mo pa po ako kayang sabayan, isipin mo na lang na nasa test taking room ka. Ayan. Hindi mo na ako kayang sabayan. Ibig sabihin, malilimutan mo yon. Okay? Tandaan mo to. Top notchers are the first people to start studying and they're the last people to stop. And listen to me. Sir, ano po ba ang technique para hindi antokin? Ito na ang ultimate technique para hindi antokin sa pag-aaral. The ultimate technique po para hindi antokin sa pag-aaral is isipin mo on December 2, wala ang pangalan mo sa list of passers hindi hindi ka aantukin magdamag <laughs> tandaan mo yan i hope that you guys um you know um uh, got some learnings from me thank you so much god bless you and see you in the next live thank you to the sponsor of this load ma'am juliet and if you wish to sponsor load you can just message me on facebook too tell me the topic that you want me to debunk goodbye god bless you and see you next time bye bye thank you so much